Hey, welcome to this episode of Cat Therapy. I'm Michael. I share my knowledge of musical gear solution, which are cheaper and better. Last video, I showed you how to achieve side chain compression on Koala Sampler and also the SP404. You can check it out in the description if you missed it. Today, I want to show you how I use my SP404 and Koala Sampler as an unconventional looper to create this background music. If you make music on your own, I bet you will need a looper to record something and then jam on it. It can be a hardware loop pedal, or even a loop function from your DAW. But most of them will always sync your tracks into bars which share the same BPM or tempo, or whatever you call it. It's okay for most scenarios, but not for all. Sometimes I don't want to sync my tracks. I want them to be looping with their own cycle period. But how could this be music? Let me explain it for you. Music is like a game of memory. Firstly, we set up some phrase or riff to be memorized by audience, and then use some fills or breaks to change a little bit, which makes our music unpredictable. We are actually balancing between predictable and unpredictable, but which one needs to be more? It depends. If you are making this ambient type of music, you don't want to draw too much tension from your audience. You want it to be really unpredictable. On a traditional looper, if one track's cycle period is two bars and the other one is four, then the final cycle period would be four bars. But if I can make a nine second material looping with a 10 second material, then the final cycle period will be 90 seconds. This will easily break the hook with your audience, which is what I'm chasing for while making ambient music. So I need this unconventional looper. But I just couldn't find one until I met my SP404, the unconventional looper I was dreaming of. On SP404, each pad can loop on their own. There's no thing to bother me. Just set a pad to loop, then press the pad down and press hold. Then you are free to go. I just love it. And uh, as you all know, SP404 is not perfect. I almost replaced it with a $4 app, which is Koala Sampler. And uh, Koala is genius too. Although it doesn't have a proper pad hold function for endless looping, there is one way to work around. If you press and hold a pad down on sample or sequence page, then switch to perform page, it will act like you are still holding the pad down. A little tricky, but works every time. Then you can set background audio on in Koala. And uh, now you are free to jam with the outside world. So that's it for today's video. This is Gas Therapy. I'm Michael. I share my knowledge of musical gear solution, which are cheaper and better. Leave a comment if you feel inspired. Thumbs up if you like this video. Share my video with your friends. And uh, please also consider subscribe to my channel. I will see you in the next one. Peace.